Here we're going to look at changing mixed numbers into improper fractions. Now, uh, in the last video, we worked on turning improper fractions into mixed numbers. And the main reason we needed to be able to do that was because, uh, particularly in real world problems, it's much nicer to give the answer as a mixed number than as an improper fraction. Our brain tends to understand uh, a mixed number a little better than an improper fraction. But the reason we need to go the other direction and turn mixed numbers into improper fractions is because when we end up multiplying and dividing fractions, which we'll do later, um, if we are multiplying and dividing mixed numbers, they must be turned into improper fractions. So um, first let me just kind of give the rule for how to do this, and then we'll talk about the why. So the numerator of the improper fraction will be the result of multiplying the whole number by the denominator and adding the numerator. So for our situation, the whole number is 2, and I'll multiply that by 4, which is the denominator of the mixed number, and then we'll add the numerator, which is 3. So of course 2 times 4 is 8, and then 8 plus 3 is 11. So 11 is the numerator of our improper fraction. Then the denominator is real easy. You just copy it from the denominator of the mixed number. And so we're just going to use 4. Okay, so you use the same denominator. Um, before I talk about uh, why exactly this works, here's a nice visual to remember the rule. So you have your mixed number, and what I like to envision is a little multiplication sign between the whole number and the denominator, and then a little plus sign up here. So it helps me to remember I'm going to multiply 2 times 4, then add the top, which in this case is 3. So what is it that's going on here? Well, when I have 2 and 3 quarters, I can think of 2 and 3 quarters as a couple of holes and then and these are completely filled in here and then what I have is another one that's not completely full so and it has four equal parts and three of them are filled in. Okay. So the act of turning an improper or sorry, a mixed number into an improper fraction is really just me taking these two holes and splitting each of them into the same number of equal parts as the fraction was. And so for each of these I'm going to split them into four equal parts. Now mathematically this act of splitting each of these into four equal parts is to say alright I'm going to take this one whole and that's going to turn into four and take this one whole and turn it into four equal pieces and so the total that I have is two times the number of equal pieces I split them into, which is 4, which is always going to correspond to the denominator. And so that's why we take the whole number, how many holes we have, times the denominator, how many equal pieces we'll split those holes into, and then add the numerator simply because, well, there's another 3 that we have to account for that were already there.